Sagittarians, wow. Welcome everyone. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is uh, the Sagittarian season reading, Abundance in Money and Prosperity reading for the Sagittarius um, season. The Sagittarian season begin November 22nd until the December 21st. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, thank you for the wonderful like, shares, and support. Uh, these season readings are going to be beginning from now. It likes you now about your abundance, your prosperity, your money flow, your financial flow. Um, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. So... We have four um, different uh, energies at the top, and these are going to be your general energies. In order to find out what diamond shape you'll be working with in this Sagittarian season, you have to choose one of these. As we get to the end of the reading, you can use the blue link in order to see the, what is uh, the result of which one of the symbols you have chosen. We have the roses, we have the block onyx, we have uh, the money pendulum, and we have the shoes moving forward. Um, you gotta um, look at the way these symbols are and how they point in order for you to accelerate uh, your frequency and your energy. So, um, first of all, we see some disappointment coming in for men, um, 50 years, uh, 45 years and older. We see an end is coming in and we see the energy of a um, Pisces, Cancer or Scorpion person at the end. So, what we're looking at uh, is that we're looking at uh, some sort of an emotional situation that some of you are going to be having. And uh, what we're realizing is that uh, um, you men are being affected by this season. So it could be um, uh, Aries, Leo, Ophios, this person that is affecting you and it is showing up. So um, the disappointments that some of you are going to be coming in this Sagittarian period with um, has to do with a pious sign person. Now it could be your boss, it could be your husband, it could be um, someone you're seeing who is creating some sort of issues for you. But the disappointment is coming in for that person and not for you. So you're going to be finding out um, that it could be a situation where this person was supposed to pay you and they can't or um, they refuse to or however this is transpiring. So the Five of Cups is disappointment. And when we have this energy of disappointment, it is really affecting a lot of you. And it's a fire sign person because this person is working in a um, the reverse, okay? So when um, an energy is in the reverse, that means this person is not working and has not been working on a positive shift of energy. And this is what we see is coming up. So I see this person is going to be removed out of your existence. Um, the energy of death is also... Um, showing up for this person because in reverse this person is in reverse the debt is also in reverse now you have to find out who is this person then you will find out what has this person done and how it is affecting you for some of you it could be you guys for some of you um, it doesn't have to be you guys for some of you there is some sort of a transition that is happening and is transpiring so um, when we look at the first week, this disappointment that you're coming in with has to do with someone else who's affecting you 
as a Sagittarian. So it could be an Aries, a Leo, or an Ophiosus. Now, this person is 45 years and older, so be aware of this. And I see huge disappointment is coming up for this person. It could be some of you men, but it is uh, some of you that have been doing um, work on yourself, trying to balance out uh, some sort of a situation for yourself. And I see truth is coming out. So disappointments uh, can be good for um, people at times because it protects you. This is the way that your angels and guides protect you from issues, situation, and problem that might occur. That is how they do it. So in the second week, a lot of you are going to be having some sort of an issue um, with a fire sign person. This man is 45 years and older. Now, this person has been creating some sort of an issue in your world. And I see an end is coming up to this person because they have realized how this person have created um, problems in your life in order um, for your flow of energy and flow of abundance um, is not flowing. And I see they're eradicating this person out of your life once and for all. So that we can pick up in the third week where the energy is really, really ending. So if you're a Sagittarian and you have a membership to the other channel, you can go and look at the full moon reading in order to see how does this person affect you, where they are in your 12 houses. And if they are in your second house, then you will realize who this person is or if it's an Aries, you look in the Aries house, what is happening. You look um, in your the house of friendship, the house of Leo, in order to understand what is happening and what is transpiring. Now, as you end this period on December 21st, um, you are going to be balanced out um, because I see um, a young person is going to be helping you to move forward now whoever this young person is uh, is between the age of 18 and 45 and it is uh, someone coming in uh, um to balance you out someone is coming in to show you the way forward and this person is a young man and it is it, it could be a scorpion person for some of you and some of you it could be a pisces some of you it could be uh a cancer um but this is positive it is positive in the way that um whatever has happened and transpire um this person is trying to balance out a situation so that it can be aligned correctly okay so it could be someone on the workplace that has realized that this person has been affecting your world and is going to be helping you to resolve the situation. Um, that sort of energy is coming up. For um, the rest of you, it is really that you're eradicating some sort of a, uh, someone who has been affecting your flow. And I see you're eradicating this person. You're really um, standing up and taking down this person and said enough is enough. And this is really good because what you're doing is saying, um, I have dealt with the situation. I'm ending the situation so that I can bring back positive alignment of energy um, with my work, with my business, with my, um, my job. It, it doesn't really matter what was happening and what was transpiring. You're really going to be realizing that you're going to be making some sort of a changes in the third week so that is where the changes is and you're really ending so some of you could be um letting someone know in the third week that their contract has been handed um because this person is uh, having disappointment that is so uh, um you know half cast that is throwing you out of your way so um this could be a situation where a lot of you are um receiving um, information to let this person know that their um, whatever they have been doing and however it has been affecting you, um, it is now over. Because I see a lot of you 
or turning your back. So and the week of December could be a very po um, a positive week for a whole lot of you um, because you decide to leave someone behind you that has been keeping you um, away from what it is that you should be um, receiving. So I see you're really putting um, a block, really putting a stop, really saying no to a situation and letting the situation um, go out of your life so that you can create a proper frequency moving forward and this is going to be good. So it is a wonderful um, alignment of energies for you guys. It's about uh, taking back, uh, um, balancing back uh, what was out of alignment because of someone. So someone could be leaving the workplace, someone could be leaving your department. However, this is coming up. It is going to be really, really positive for you because this is going to be taking you on a new in a new direction, on a positive direction forward. Life is full of surprises because most of the time we're not aware of who is affecting our state of stability. And a lot of you are going to be finding this out and is going to be aware of that. Sometimes disappointment is for good because it protects you a whole lot of time. And especially with money, sometimes it's good. Sometimes you might want to, um, you know, borrow or that sort of a thing. And, you know, it doesn't work out. And sometimes it is just good because you would have put yourself in more problems, um, so this is something that is coming up in this reading. In order to find out, you have to choose one of the above um, sets, okay? So you have the rose, you have the onyx, and you have the green, and you have the shoes. You have to choose one of these. You can't choose two. You have to choose one. By looking at the object, it will your spirit guides will advise you as to which one to choose. And then you're going to be finding out how this is going to be affecting you moving forward. And this is going to be a positive way. Okay. This is your Sagittarian season. It is the last Sagittarian season of 2020. Um, and uh, you are going to be realizing that you have gone through and worked through a whole lot of the uh, situation that has been happening and transpiring. And you're going to be regaining some sort of a balance because you realize um, the things that was transpiring in your world and how your world was affected by this person. So it is um, really um, a time when you Sagittarians are going to be aligning yourself with um, the correct energies in order to um, overcome if it was fair for your uh, materialistic wealth, if it was instability, you are going to be removing someone out of your life that has been in creating some form of imbalances. And then you are going to be choosing um, to move forward with a proper frequency that is going to be bringing back the flow and the inflow of your wealth. So this time is um, really, really important. And um, what I'm receiving is that it's not affecting you, Sagittarius. It's affecting someone else, a third party, um, who has been intervening in your world. And this third party is going to be removed out of your world. And by this third party being removed out of your world, then you are going to be a creating some sort of a stability for yourself where you're going to be finding out uh, that this was the issue. This was the person because it's obviously it is a person that is creating this instability in your world. So be aware of that. So some of you, your boss could be leaving or your partner who has been um, blocking you could be leaving and this is going to be exhilarating your frequency moving forward in a very, very positive way. So I see you're going to be picking up speed as you come out of your own series because you have one more 
um, a season to go through before you really end the year 2020. And I see you're going to be exhilarating as you get out of your season. So expect the week of Christmas to be um, really, really wonderful. It's going to be as if you're aligning with yourself and aligning with the proper energy that is going to be bringing back uh, your abundancy um, money and prosperity flow in your life in a positive way. So this is the person that has been accessing and affecting your flow of prosperity. And now you are a rare and aligned. If it's happening to you men, it is something that has transpired in the past and it is a uh, um, reaction in the future. So I see businessmen could be affected by this energy. Um, people in, on pension could be affected by this energy. So it is good for you to use the blue button um, in order to see what is coming out at this energy and how you are going to be able to work through this energy as you go through the um, Sagittarian season. So I want to say to you guys, um, thank you. Um, it is um, short and quick. It's at the point and that it, 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 it is straightforward in order for you to know um, how you're moving forward. Choose one of these symbols and under that symbols, you will receive a diamond, a reading that is going to be exhilarating you in the correct direction. I love you guys. Please like, share, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, so that the algorithm can pick these readings up. I gotta go. Namaste.